The film opens with Juwita, a caring and hardworking woman who has a unique job at a call center. This isn't just any call center. It's a service for lonely men who want someone to talk to. Juwita chose this job because it only requires her voice. No one needs to see her face or know what she looks like. For privacy, she goes by the name Mawar Marindu and uses her soothing voice to keep her callers company and bring some excitement to their lives. This job is just a side gig for Juwita, who does it to earn extra money. Juwita is a kind-hearted person with a simple life. She's generally happy, though sometimes she feels a bit insecure when friends tease her about her weight. Still, she doesn't let it get to her too much. Her main focus is earning enough to help pay for her father's medical bills. Each day, Juwita gets calls from various men with unique personalities. One of her regular callers is a doctor who's particularly fond of her voice. Every night, he listens to her, enjoying the comfort her words bring, letting his imagination run wild. Apart from her work at the call center, Juwita has a true talent for singing and often sings in her free time. She even has a job as a singer at a music label. However, Juwita is not a star on stage. Instead, she's a ghost singer. Her voice is used for a popular singer named Eva, who is promoted as a superstar. Eva may look glamorous, but she isn't very nice, and her real voice isn't as impressive. When Eva performs live, it's actually Juwita's beautiful voice that the audience hears. One night, Eva had her first big show, and Juwita was backstage, singing to make the performance shine. As Juwita sang, she got caught up in the music and started dancing a little. But in her excitement, she accidentally tripped over a cable and fell, causing a small scene. Thankfully, the show quickly continued, and Juwita went back to singing until the end. However, Eva was upset with Juwita, blaming her for the incident and worrying it might have spoiled her big debut. After the performance, Eva angrily confronted Juwita, scolding her with harsh words and even making hurtful comments about her appearance. Juwita felt embarrassed but calmly apologized, explaining that her fall was because she accidentally tripped over a cable. Soon after, the company's music producer, Andre, came over to check on Juwita and make sure she was okay after the incident. He thanked her for her hard work and for helping the show go smoothly. Andre's kind words and a warm hug left Juwita feeling flattered, and she began to think that he might have feelings for her. A few days later, Juwita went out to a restaurant with her best friend, Yara, who was Juwita's closest friend someone she could always turn to for advice and support. Juwita had a big appetite, and every time she went out to eat, she ordered large portions. She couldn't help ordering more and more food, which started to irritate the waiter, who had to keep bringing her dishes. During their meal, Juwita excitedly told Yara that she thought Andre liked her because he had hugged her after the show. Yara disagreed, pointing out that Andre was surrounded by many beautiful women who admired him, and he would likely choose one of them over Juwita. Given her appearance, Yara gently suggested that it was unlikely Andre would be interested in her. Yara then warned Juwita not to rush into liking someone too quickly, as it could lead to getting hurt. Hearing this, Juwita fell silent and remembered a painful memory from her college days. Back then, she had a crush on someone, but it turned out he was only using her to help him with his assignments. That experience had left Juwita feeling so sad that at one point, she even thought about taking too many sedative pills to escape the pain. Luckily, she decided against it and ended up falling asleep on the floor instead. When she didn't wake up for a while, people around her became worried, thinking something terrible had happened. It was a tough memory, but Juwita reminded herself to stay strong, especially since she had to support her father, who was unwell. After finishing dinner, Juwita and Yara headed home. On the way, they decided to get matching tattoos as a symbol of their close friendship. Among the designs, Juwita chose one with the words Hakuna Matata, which means everything will be fine. Once they got their tattoos, they felt happy and returned home. The next day, after work, Andre offered to give Juwita a ride home and invited her to his birthday celebration at a club. Juwita was thrilled by the invitation and happily accepted, promising to attend. During the ride, Juwita asked Andre to drop her off at a spot, telling him she was going to her friend's apartment. In reality, she was visiting her father, who was staying in a mental hospital. She kept her father's situation a secret from everyone except her close friend, Yara, as she didn't want others to know about her family's hardships. 
Unknowingly, she left her diary in Andre's car, which he later found and read. When she arrived at the hospital, Juita saw her father's difficult condition. After her mother's passing, he had been deeply affected, developing mental health issues. She hoped that treatment at the hospital might help him recover. Sadly, her father no longer recognized her and believed she was his late wife. Despite this, Juita continued to support him with love, working hard to cover his medical bills. During the visit, Juita shared some happy news with her father, telling him that she had become a singer, even if she was only a backup singer. She felt fulfilled that her childhood dream had come true. She also mentioned her closeness to her boss, Andre, and asked for her father's prayers that maybe, one day, Andre could become her life partner. After the visit, Juita went back home. The next morning, Juita received a gift from Andre, a dress he wanted her to wear to his birthday party. Excited, she told Yara that she felt Andre might have feelings for her. That evening, Juita arrived at the party wearing the beautiful dress he had given her and invited Yara to come along. As soon as she saw Andre, Juita greeted him warmly and wished him a happy birthday. At the party, Andre's older brother, Richard, asked Juita to remove her coat, and without hesitation, she did. However, the dress was tight, and it emphasized her figure in a way that made her look bigger, drawing some attention. The atmosphere took a turn when Eva walked in, wearing the exact same dress as Juita. Andre's assistant had seen the dress he gave to Juita and purposely bought the same one to embarrass her. Eva believed she looked much better than Juita in the outfit, and her attitude hurt Juita deeply. Feeling humiliated, Juita decided to leave the party immediately. At that moment, Andre couldn't bear seeing Juita humiliated in front of everyone. He turned to Eva and scolded her sharply. But Eva just laughed, taking it as a joke because she disliked how Juita seemed to be getting closer to Andre. This reaction made Andre furious, and he reminded Eva that Juita had helped him greatly. Without Juita's support, Eva wouldn't be where she was. Juita had a lovely singing voice, but she didn't see herself as beautiful. She thought her body was too big and believed that if she looked slim and attractive, she could be a famous singer. Sadly, Juita overheard Andre and Eva's argument. Misunderstanding Andre's words, she thought he was defending himself rather than standing up for her. In that moment, Juita felt even more insecure, comparing herself to Eva, who had a beautiful face and an ideal figure. She thought of herself as unattractive and considered do the unthinkable by taking a large amount of sedative medication. However, just as she was about to act, she received a call from her lonely men's application service. A doctor wanted to chat, and this unexpected call sparked an idea in her mind, pulling her away from her harmful thoughts. The next day, Juita decided to visit a beauty clinic with the hope of changing her appearance. She met with a plastic surgeon named Dr. Eric and asked about cosmetic procedures. During the consultation, Juita realized the cost of the surgery was high and far beyond her budget. Desperate, she tried to negotiate, asking Dr. Eric if she could pay in installments. Unfortunately, Dr. Eric declined her request and asked her to leave the clinic. Determined to change her appearance, Juita decided to reveal a secret. She reminded Dr. Eric that she was the same person from the Lonely Men's app he regularly contacted for companionship under the name Mawar Marindu. Shocked, Dr. Eric realized the woman standing before him was the same voice he listened to every night. Using this knowledge, Juita subtly pressured Dr. Eric to help her achieve a more beautiful and slenderer look. Feeling cornered, Dr. Eric reluctantly agreed to perform the cosmetic procedures. Afterward, Juita visited her father to say goodbye, letting him know she wouldn't be able to visit him for the next few months while she underwent her transformation. A few days later, Juita was ready for her plastic surgery and liposuction. After the procedures were completed, she decided to keep everything a secret. Without telling anyone, she disappeared from her usual life, leaving no clue behind. At the same time, Andre was left puzzled, as Juita's voice was essential to Eva's success. Without her, all of Eva's performances had to be cancelled, and the recording of her album was put on hold as they searched for someone with a voice like Juita's. Frustrated by the delay, Eva decided to take matters into her own hands to track down Juita. She went to her apartment, only to find it empty. While searching around, 
she found a document showing the hospital where Juwita's father was receiving treatment. Eva suspected Juwita might have visited her father and hoped he could provide information about her whereabouts. Eva then invited Andre to accompany her to the hospital. When they arrived, they met Juwita's father, but due to his mental condition, he couldn't communicate clearly, leaving them without any clues about Juwita. Disappointed, they left the hospital. Months passed, and Juwita's recovery was complete. The surgery was a success, and she had transformed into a beautiful woman with a slim, ideal figure. She felt more confident and was amazed at how much she had changed. After spending months in recovery, Juwita decided to treat herself to a day out at the mall. While walking around, she unexpectedly spotted Andre and Eva. To her surprise, Eva was no longer a singer but was now selling kitchenware, including pants. At that moment, Juwita stayed hidden, observing them from a distance without revealing herself. Later, Juwita had an encounter at the police station after a minor road accident in which she collided with a taxi. Her new appearance was so different from her photo ID that the police didn't believe she was the same person. As a result, Yara had to come and verify her identity. Initially, Yara didn't recognize her either, recalling Juwita as a larger person. But when she saw the familiar tattoo on Juwita's waist, she realized it was truly her friend. Afterward, they went to a restaurant for dinner, catching up after Juwita's long absence. During their meal, Yara mentioned that Eva's album release had been delayed due to the difficulty of finding a voice like Juwita's. Hearing this, Juwita got an idea. She would audition as Eva's shadow singer again, but this time with a new identity so that no one, including Andre, would recognize her as the same Juwita. Not long after, Yara's boyfriend, Rizki, joined them at the restaurant. When Yara introduced her friend, Juwita quickly introduced herself as Angel. This was the first time she fully embraced her new identity as Angel. It turned out that Rizki was in the business of selling weight loss products, and he often pushed Yara to buy and use them. Yara loved Rizki and never refused his requests, even though she didn't feel the need for the products. When Rizki stepped away to take a call, Juwita, now Angel, gently tried to convince Yara not to take the pills. She told Yara that her figure was already great and worried that the pills might contain harmful ingredients. Yara hesitated, but Rizki's constant comments about her weight made her feel pressured to keep using the pills. The next day, Juwita, now going by Angelica, auditioned to be Eva's shadow singer. She showcased her beautiful voice, and her performance impressed everyone. She passed the audition and was officially accepted by the company under her new name, Angelica. Angelica's striking appearance and impressive voice soon caught the attention of Andre and Richard, who saw potential in her beyond being Eva's shadow singer. They both wanted to promote her as a new artist and not just a background voice for Eva. They soon approached Richard's father, who owned the company, and tried to persuade him to make Angelica the new face of their music label. Initially, their request was denied. Richard's father believed that only Eva had the looks and appeal to be a top singer, while Angelica was merely a voice behind the scenes. But Andre and Richard didn't give up. They continued to insist that Angelica had a special charm and talent that could win over the public. After seeing their determination, Richard's father finally agreed to give Angelica a chance as a solo singer. This was the start of Juwita's journey as Angelica. She recorded her first single and filmed a music video. When her debut song was released, it quickly became a huge success, and she found herself at the top of Indonesia's music charts. Her popularity created a rivalry with Eva, who felt threatened and frustrated by Angelica's success. Determined to regain her status, Eva made several attempts to locate Juwita. She even went back to the hospital, hoping Juwita's father might know where she was hiding. When Eva arrived at the hospital, she told Andre she was determined to keep searching for Juwita so she could release her second album as soon as possible. This irritated Andre, who advised Eva to focus on improving her own voice so she wouldn't need to rely on others. Eva, offended, began loudly expressing her frustration, but in the middle of her outburst, Juwita's father, listening calmly, offered some wise advice that left Eva completely speechless. At one point, Juwita recorded her second song, but her performance didn't feel quite right. Andre, Sensing something was missing, 
showed her a video from Juwita's initial audition as Eva's shadow singer. Not knowing that Angelica was actually Juwita, he encouraged her to study the singing style in the video. He pointed out how Juwita's emotional singing made the songs feel heartfelt, in contrast to the more straightforward way Angelica was singing now. Juwita thought about whether she should try to sing like she did in the past, back when she was heavier. When she asked Andre about it, he scolded her, telling her how much he admired Juwita's unique style. This revelation touched Juwita deeply. She realized that Andre had thought highly of her despite her former appearance and weight. She felt a sense of regret for hiding her true identity from him by adopting the Angelica persona. The next morning, Juwita considered revealing her real identity to Andre and sought Yara's advice. But Yara warned her that not all men accepted women who had undergone plastic surgery. Offended by Yara's words, an argument broke out between them. In the heat of the moment, Juwita accused Yara of letting her boyfriend pressure her into buying the slimming products he sold. She urged Yara to stop using them, fearing they could harm her health. Yara, hurt by Juwita's words, burst into tears and left. Later, Juwita remembered Yara's caution. She had once asked Andre what he thought of women who had undergone plastic surgery, and he had responded that he preferred women with a natural look. This made Juwita hesitate to reveal the truth to him, fearing he might not accept her for who she truly was. The next day at the office, Juwita was going about her day when she overheard Eva practicing her singing in a nearby studio. Curious, she decided to approach Eva, and they ended up chatting. During the conversation, Eva confided about her plan to push Angelica out of the music industry. Remembering her father's wise words, Juwita decided to share this advice with Eva. Interestingly, it was this advice that gave Eva a clue to Juwita's true identity. A few days later, Juwita received alarming news that Yara had been rushed to the hospital after taking too many slimming pills. It happened on the same day that Juwita was scheduled for her live television debut. But without hesitation, she prioritized visiting her friend in the hospital. When she arrived, the doctor informed Juwita that Yara's life had been in serious danger due to the pills. The doctor sternly warned Yara to stop using these dangerous products to prevent another close call. Seeing her best friend lying in a hospital bed, Juwita felt a deep sadness. She knew Yara had been manipulated by her boyfriend, Rizki, into buying dangerous products. Just then, Rizki appeared at the hospital. Juwita couldn't hold back her anger. She confronted Rizki, firmly scolding him for pressuring Yara to take those harmful pills. She warned him to stay away from Yara and never sell her dangerous products again. Rizki stood silently, looking down, unable to defend himself as Juwita spoke. After this confrontation, Juwita and Yara's friendship grew even closer. Once Yara was safe and recovering, Juwita returned to the studio to prepare for her television debut. During her first performance, she gave a flawless show, capturing everyone's attention with her voice. From that moment, Angelica was recognized as a rising star. Her success was celebrated alongside Andre, who seemed to be growing fond of her, though he still didn't know her true identity. While Andre stepped away to take a call from his father, Juwita sat alone, absentmindedly doodling the tattoo design on her waist. As she waited, she grew drowsy and eventually fell asleep. It was then that Andre saw the tattoo and remembered the same tattoo he'd seen on Juwita before. In that moment, he realized Angelica and Juwita were the same person. A few days later, Richard and Andre organized a party to celebrate the success of Angelica's first album. However, Andre seemed distant, feeling betrayed by Juwita's secret. In the middle of the celebration, Eva arrived with a surprise guest, a man she introduced as a big fan of Angelica. To Juwita's shock, it was her own father. Juwita froze, feeling conflicted and unsure how to react. Her hesitation made her appear distant, which upset Yara, who then took Juwita's father away from the gathering. Afterward, Juwita found the courage to approach Andre and finally reveal her true identity. But to her surprise, he already knew. Eventually, Juwita apologized, explaining why she had pretended to be someone else. With tears in her eyes, she confessed that she had changed her appearance because of something Andre once said during an argument with Eva. He commented that if Juwita were beautiful and had a good figure, she could be a successful singer. Those words had hurt her deeply, and she'd grown tired of being judged and ridiculed for her appearance. 
She admitted that deceiving him was wrong, but explained that her transformation was an attempt to create a better life for herself. Andre listened quietly to Juwita's heartfelt confession, feeling a sense of guilt for the words that had driven her to change herself so drastically. He comforted her, knowing how much strength it took for her to be honest. With her first concert just a day away, Juwita needed rest, and she left to gather her energy for the big event. The following day marked a turning point in Juwita's life. As she began singing on stage, she noticed her father stepping onto the stage with Eva by his side, joining in with joyful dancing. Richard tried to guide her father off stage, but Juwita stopped him, letting her father stay. In this powerful moment, Juwita took the chance to address the audience. She opened up to her fans, apologizing for the deception and revealing her true identity. She shared her life story, describing her struggles with self-image, the hurtful words from others about her weight, and the determination that had pushed her forward. She also spoke about her journey from being a backup vocalist to finally standing on the stage as a singer in her own right. In the end, she introduced her father, who was still grieving the loss of her mother and struggling with his health. Unexpectedly, Juwita's honest words moved everyone, and her fans rallied around her, showing their support and respect for her strength and perseverance. As time passed, Juwita fully embraced her dream of becoming a singer. Her bond with Andre grew, and they found love together. Meanwhile, Eva took a new path, moving from singing to becoming a YouTuber, creating content about life on the streets. However, she soon got into trouble with the authorities, leading to an encounter with the police. And with that, the film comes to a close. So the moral from the story is, if people don't love the real you, just turn the volume up on you, it's way less exhausting. And remember, trying too hard to be someone else just makes you forget how amazing you already are.